Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Sitting in my electronic slab, which by the way is fully functional again. Cleaned up, and uh, I still got some sorting to do here and there. But I'm getting it. I'm organizing it, and I'm sorting it. This morning I went over and cut firewood for the first half of the day. And uh, that kicked my butt. The venom from the wasp is still working on me, and um, I'm really, really like tired and exhausted. So cutting that wood was the end. Um, by the way, the, um, the chainsaw—I'm almost done over there, but the chainsaw wasn't getting oil on the bar. So um, if anybody has any suggestions on the Husqvarna chainsaw, why? I'm not getting oil. I took it apart and blew it out with an air compressor, but I couldn't find exactly. You know, I ran it again, and the chain is getting hot and tight. So um, I'm not getting the oil. I'm not figuring out why. When I took the bar off, there's oil um, touching the bar where the gasket is there. But must be something in the bar I'm missing somewhere, some hole somewhere. So if anybody has any suggestions. Um, so that ended my day there, and then uh, I we had lunch, and then I took a nap because this either it's the medication or the venom, I'm not sure, but I'm really, really, really tired all the time. I've had three cups of coffee this afternoon after I got out of bed, and I just, I'm not, I don't know, it's whatever it is, it's pretty strong. So, um, I kicked around with some firewood a little bit today with an axe. I uh, didn't do any video because I just didn't feel like it. And then um, I worked in here and cleaned up my electronics lab. Since this is my daily show, and this is my daily life, I'm telling you what I did today. And uh, check out the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics because I finally set up the, um, the stuff to make a Bedini motor. Let me show you here. So I neatly laid out everything. And I went over all details of everything you need to get a Benini motor. All right, so that video will hopefully be live sometime on this day. Um, it's going to take me some time because I've got to put links to every single thing and all the resources. So it's going to take me a lot of time. So if it's not live by the time you see this video, check it in a couple hours. It will be done on this very day. So go ahead and check out the do-it-yourself world electronics and learn how to build your own Bedini motor. Those of you that don't know what that is, it is over here my radiant energy device which restores lead acid batteries. I take junk lead acid batteries that no longer work and I run this device and it desulfates the, the plates and restores them to working condition and sometimes better than new condition and uh, don't yell at me and shout it doesn't work it doesn't work until you ask questions about why and how that may work and why it may be some call it a free energy device or a free energy or radiant energy generator I would never use those words because it just causes too many fights and there's nothing free in life you have to run it you have to put some power in in order to get power out. Yes, you can get more power out than you put in. It is not a generator. It's not generating anything. It's just converting energy that's in the air into usable energy inside the batteries. The conversion happens in the battery. I can't tell you how many times I've had this discussion with people. Oh, perpetual motion. No, I don't call it a perpetual motion device. It's not. You take away the power, it shuts off, it stops runs down. Nope. Anyway, that's what I've done today. I've cleaned my electronics lab because um, I didn't have the strength to, to really do any physical labor today after the chainsaw cutting is chopping in logs, I mean entire trees, and stacking them up in a pile. So um, that is that my strength. So I worked in here finally and I got it cleaned up. So uh, that's pretty much it. It was just uh, cutting firewood, getting ready for the winter. That's pretty much it. And that's not here, and it's not my property, so I can't record. So I'll see you inside, guys. By the way, it feels cold, 
I mean, it feels really cold. I've still got my t-shirt on, but it feels cold. So I'm going to cover the tomatoes up anyway. Better safe than sorry, right? It only takes a minute. I just don't want to risk it, regardless of what the weather says. And I'll cover my plants over here. Also, just about as easy, since I've got a system down. And the peas I'm not too stressed about. Now, we'll go inside. 